Uh, Nicholas, why is this why is this topic so important? It was this was your idea, which I thought was a great idea. Why do you think it's important? Yeah, I think it's important for um, Catholics especially to recognize that while we, um, particularly here online, um, debate each other um, in many ways in unchristian-like manner, um, calling each other names and debating over disputed questions, while it's important that we, you know, every once in a while debate each other in good fun and good spirit as long as virtue is accompanied by all of those um, and I'm preaching to myself here for, for bettering in that world. While that's good, there's a whole world of Muslims that are not saved, right? That are that don't know the true religion of our Lord Jesus Christ who desperately need it. As well as here in the West, um, many of us um, unfortunately think that Islam and its um, various heresies are contained in the Middle East. That's just simply not true when we look at studies today, um, particularly studies in Canada, but even studies here in the United States, we find that the Muslim population is growing exponentially worldwide, mostly due to birth rates. So much so that we see that here in the West, particularly in nations like, again, Canada and the United States, if this birth rate continues as well as the rates of Christianity decline, as they have been for decades now, um, we will see that by the year 2060, Muslim majority nations here in the West, including in Canada and possibly here in the United States around 2060 or a little bit later. So it's very important for us to discuss these things because unfortunately, um, and again, this is just kind of my take now, um, the media, particularly since um, the presidency of George Bush, um, has really followed um, a moniker of the George Bush presidency, which is that Islam is just like every other religion, right? Um, and that it's a peaceful religion, that it is a religion of just normalcy, if you will, and so um, not to worry too much about it. The reality is, though, whenever you actually go into the Islamic sources, whether that be the Quran or the Hadith, the Sunnah literature, the commentators, um, the jurists, etc., you're going to find um, not just some different beliefs about our Lord Jesus Christ, um, which is already an issue. But of course, you're going to find um, the violent subjugation of non-believers, the violent oppression of women, um, as well as, um, I would just say, pretty scandalous sexual teachings of Muhammad and his, especially the first three generations of followers. And so unfortunately, this information is not well known to Catholics. Um, they kind of just see it as a problem on the other side of the world but we got to be aware that it's in our own midst and it's going to be um an issue i think between our two faiths very very soon